Ninja Monkey. Hey everybody, Coach Tony with Ninja Monkey Gym, where you swing like a monkey and flip like a ninja. Today, we're talking about our cartwheel essentials. Now, the way that we do it at Ninja Monkey Gym is we actually teach a butterfly first. A butterfly is horizontal, a cartwheel is vertical. Now, the reason for that is we wanna get them used to putting their hands down, getting weight on their hands, and transferring from one place to another. So the first exercise that we'll actually do is we'll get a panel mat, or some kind of hand mat, and we'll make sure that they place their fingers going in the correct direction, which is away from their body. And then we're gonna have them jump up to the mat and back down. So they're gonna go one, two. They can go back too. One, two. The next step is to try to jump all the way over the mat. Oh. After that, we want them getting used to the idea of starting on one foot and landing on the opposite foot. So they're gonna put their good leg in front and they're gonna put their hands down on a much narrower prop. I really like these uh, orange crayons. So we're gonna hold one foot up behind us and we're gonna jump and try to land on that foot. We're gonna go back and forth. If they feel confident with that, have them start from standing. Where they've got one foot in front, they can lift their back foot up, put their hands down, and then try to land on that foot that they're holding up. If they feel confident on that, let's lift it up a little bit, let's make it a little bit wider. We're gonna start with one foot in front of the other. You can have them start in their fighting stance, or if you'd like, any kind of uh, uh, lunge or lever kick position that you would like. We'll start like that. We're gonna put our hands down, one foot up, land on that other foot. Have them go back just to get them practicing their coordination. The next thing, we're gonna add some props and start making it a little bit more challenging. We can go on a medium height one, or we can try a higher prop. If they've got that, then let's give it some energy and try to get up and over a mat. This is really good for confidence building and it's a lot of fun. Once again, they should be starting on one foot and landing on the opposite foot. One foot takeoff, one foot landing. At this point, let's talk about the difference between butterfly and cartwheel. The biggest difference is butterflies have closed shoulder angle, cartwheels have open shoulder angles. So it's really important that you're working on your handstands at this point. Box poses, donkey kicks, anything like that. There's a whole lot of poses that you can practice. For us, making sure that you practice a handstand that really helps your cartwheel, you can walk your feet up a mat and then try to jump down on one side and land on one foot. That's really helping them with that landing that you're looking for. Make sure they're practicing landing on their bad foot. Because if for a cartwheel, they're gonna start on their good foot and they're gonna land on their bad foot. The next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna take a line and they're gonna start in their uh, fighting position or their lunge. And uh, one of your, the coaches is gonna hold up a noodle or a prop for them to kick that's a little bit higher. So they're gonna put their hands down, just like the arrows over there, away from their body, trying to get open shoulder angle and kick as high as they can on a prop, landing on one foot again. The next step is we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Where I go ahead and leave it there where we're going to try and kick over the mat, but it's farther away from the line. So it gives them a little bit of an emotional test, even if they're not necessarily gonna kick it. Getting our arms up, open shoulders, over the top. The very last step in the progression is to get them to do it through a canyon. And they can get as close as you feel confident about. I don't know if I got this. Let's see. We're gonna start on the line. We got our shoulders nice and open. We're gonna put our hands down on the line and kick through the canyon, finishing on one foot. That's one of the ways, or some of the ways that we teach our cartwheel progressions. If you're looking for more challenging cartwheel progressions, check out our Round Off Essentials video at Ninja Monkey Gym on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Check us out at Ninja Monkey Gym on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.